Hello there and welcome back to our modded series. So I've had a bit of time in the evenings to develop this section of the colony quite a bit. And um, why don't we go through some of them right now at the start of this video. So, uh, okay, so where shall we uh, start? I guess the pyramid will be probably a good spot. Uh, let's grab a few beavers and we shall send them over to the temporary district that we do have here. Actually, there's a couple of dynamites as well, but okay, yeah. So we had a lot of logs, quite a few warehouses here as well with some, um, what do we have? Uh, dynamites and the rest of them should be blanks. And what I've started to do is try and get those corners in so that way we can start putting down the platforms, uh, the, the arches, sorry. And um, I do want to pass this water through and this is also... If you remember from uh, one of the previous episodes, this is also the area where we do want to send the power through as well and connect it with, with the main colony. Right, so why don't we just get rid of these dynamites. Okay, fantastic. So we don't need those uh, sets of stairs anymore, I believe. And I think we can now extend it just a little bit as well. I can't con quite connect it up with this road. But that's okay. So the pyramid is starting to take shape on the other sections as well. So this uh, this side is no problem. We've got the suspension bridge in its place and on that side. Actually, I should probably... Uh, let me just do this quickly. Let's get rid of these few spots in here. And to allow those beavers to reach to the other side. And build that section as well. We'll have to put in another bridge over here. Okay, so that should be good. We'll leave the beavers be. Put it on two, two times the speed and uh, let's have a look at a couple of other things. Right, so over here we do have this corner pretty much complete now. Well, very close to it at, at least. The platform is in and the corner tower itself as well. All we gotta do is just finish the, the wall section here and just rebuild it a little bit. Okay, so that's uh, that's done. Let's go back into, into the newer district in here. Bit of a flood and the next route is almost in, but that's okay. So minor changes, we are starting to put in a forest a bit here as well. And this whole area is looking much more greener now. If you remember from the previous episode, that used to be all barren lands. And yeah, we've extended or expanded the waterways uh, right there too. Right, so I have been playing around with a bit of a design to cook up those potatoes. And whilst I was doing that, I kind of thought that why don't we just uh, leave our name in the crop over here as well. And hopefully once once the farms are full of wheat, that should always be nicely visible in here. Now, what was a little bit more annoying to reset or redo was the district center here. I had to put a temporary one uh, down and to build those platforms and, well, essentially rebuild this district center just in case those floods get a little nasty as you can see it, uh, it it floods every now and then now another thing i had to update here i was thinking about this carousel location and um i think i came to a conclusion that that it's just very far away from these guys that are living in this corner it would be much more beneficial if um if all these beavers had a uh, at the same distance that i have to travel for a bit of amusement as well so I thought, why don't we just put it right in the middle here? So I removed some of the wheat. We got the carousel, carousel down, and now all we gotta do is just build it. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Well, not really tricky. We'll have to destroy some wheat eventually, and to allow the power to connect there as well. But that's that's okay, I suppose. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, now moving on to here. Uh, yeah, we do have quite a lot more water stored up as well and the lovely temple here trees have grown up quite a bit and this is a slow progress but we have put this uh, staircase or a set of stairs in in here as well so everything oh dear i forgot something yep all these beavers are very hungry and thirsty uh, right so why don't we send you back to this district there okay fantastic my time speed it up just a little bit and what we shall do is let's move over here we do have quite a few dynamites so why don't we just have a quick look at this
All right. Okay. Yeah. Frames. We're not our friends in this section here, but that's okay. We have built up uh, quite a healthy stack of dynamites now as well, which means we can remove the rest of the land. I believe that should be should be plentiful. Okay, let's do the final section as well. And this lake is getting uh, pretty deep. I mean, I guess we'll never be finished with this. So every episode we'll just try and go down a level if we can. And yeah, I haven't really focused in this area too much. Uh, let me see. Actually, we do have a few more dynamites. So yeah, let's uh, take these out as well. Okay, wow, beautiful. Uh, the drought is starting in 0 0.8 days, so... So yeah, do we have any more dynamites? Not in here, but I do know there is quite a large amount of them. Right about here, there's a small level. And let's see how many we can get out from here as well. I think everything should be built. So the beavers shouldn't be going down, but who knows. They can get a little silly at times. Okay, that's good. What about here? That should be pretty sweet as well. Oh, that was that was painful. Okay. And the final bit, actually, we should probably delete you and get a couple of these ones in. Uh, do you know what? I don't think it really... Oh, it does matter, doesn't it? I think we got a little too ahead of ourselves, so this means, yeah. Okay, for some reason I thought it's not gonna matter. I don't know why. Anyways, let's uh, do this section in here, and I think the final little lip we can, we can also take this one out. It's fine, it's okay. Now, I believe all the beavers have had their feed already. Now, we don't actually have a lot of time left in the day, so that's okay. Let's uh, leave them be. We do have some roofs. Uh, yeah, the standard design from the previous series. And we'll probably... Uh, I think we'll carry it on through this area here as well, right? Okay, a few dynamites in place. They haven't quite done them ones. But that's probably because we don't have any left, so... We'll have to reconnect you. There we go. Can you please start filling this up again? Don't really see any beavers running towards here for some reason. What are they all doing? Okay, they're carrying the water out. Yeah, this section's here finished as well, so we rearranged the water bumps a little bit. Uh, he's a bit laggy, but that's okay. It is night time, so we'll let it run just a little bit and we'll be back when the morning is here. And here we go. The drought has finally started and there's 26 days for us to survive. Well, I don't think it's really about survival anymore. Well, I guess it hasn't been for quite some time, but uh, yeah, we've uh, got plenty full of water and the colony right now, we'll check it in a second after we send, let's say, about 10 beers over. It's only 263. I know one of our end goals will be to try and see if we can reach a thousand. It will be tough, especially such a large colony. Uh, what I mean is, it will be tough because of the frames. It won't be difficult to increase it, that's uh, that's very easy. But being able to play this game with such a high colony now, that's probably that's probably going to be a bit of a challenge for the, for the computer itself. Anyways, we've got the beavers going over. Do we have some dynamites? Yes, we do. Okay, so that is good. We'll connect you up once again and see if we can get some more of, of dynamites done. Okay, these ones are through and they should have reached, well, one at a time. That That's okay. It's a start. And as soon as the these parts are done in here, what we'll most likely do is... Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, you're not done. Uh, right, that's okay. Let's hide the water as well, and maybe it's a good time. Oh, never mind. We'll get the pyramid corners done first, and then we shall start bringing in their power. I think the net next goal that we should really have is getting across and stopping the water from escaping this map. That's probably... it might be out of range, 
But who knows? If we... Hmm... I believe it's gonna be shorter to go through here. Okay, well, let's give it a try. Because the district center... Well, I suppose we can almost relocate the district center here, can't we? Yep, that might be a better idea. If we go through... Let's see... Actually, the middle might be better. So that way they can reach both sides. So let's uh, go with our original plan once again. Okay, there we go. The road network is in. And we shall also... How much time do we have left? We do have a little bit. But I think we shall give uh, you a slightly higher priority. I mean, we do have 26 days to complete this. And uh, yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've got quite a few builder huts here. So what we could do... Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 5. So that's about 20 Builder Beavers plus another 4. So 24 Builders. We should get it completed pretty quickly. And then we can carry on with the Pyramid. How are you doing here? Okay. That's actually looking very lovely. We got 3 of the 4 corners done. And now the last bit, maybe we give you a slightly higher priority as well. I know there's lots of priorities everywhere. Oh, you're already going there. Never mind. Let's migrate you back to the main colony. And it seems all the dynamites are already done. You guys are very quick, actually. Alright. Well, that's good. Because this means we can put back those littos. Okay, there we go. Take you out. And same on the other side. And you too. And maybe just get it done as quick as you can. Now, going back to leisure. Right about here. Okay, fantastic. Everyone's off to their evening activities once again. And it seems Baby Dragon is almost complete. 99%. What about these ones? It got a little awkward here because I, I tried to keep everything to sort of three tile width. But making the end just wasn't really working out very nicely. So that had to be a little bit bigger. But once the wheat is grown... I think it should look quite all right. Yep, what about you? This looks a little awkward. And I think we're missing a potato as well. Yep, let's put it right over there. Okay, cool. Three times the speed once again. And now when it comes to this carousel here, I don't know if we are going to build it. But for some reason, I feel like I'm just going to leave it penciled in there. Yeah, that's what we shall do. And I think we'll also... Oh dear, we're going to have to make some rearrangements here as well because what I've just realized it's gonna be very difficult to pull through the cables here because I did put down the dam instead of yeah the platforms hmm okay right 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 that means the water is gonna be always connected to that side unless we leave this dam in here then we might be fine Hmm, decisions, okay. Well, there's still a long way to go before it's completed, so I think we'll figure it out at a different date. Some spare beavers, why don't we... Actually, let's do 15. Let's send you over. And dynamites-wise, oh, you're already done. Why don't we let this actually fill for, for a little bit? Okay, there we go. Now, blanks, plentiful... And you haven't really done those, okay. Well, how about we give you the highest of priorities? And this corner, no, you don't really need to be done that quickly. Okay, sweet. Things are looking good here. And we shall return to our colony that's being developed right now. So this blueprint that we do have in here, actually... Oh yeah, we don't need to set it to none just yet. Because that's not the way I want to have it here. It's more of a, more of a test... To see how much space or how much of a footprint it's gonna leave and um, yeah there's quite a few krills in here which I believe should be more than enough and the idea really is that perhaps this colony could support a few satellite districts as well so let's say we make quite a few potatoes here or at least krill them up and maybe we can transfer them to the uh, leisure district here and maybe even up on the hill once we do have a bit of a settlement. Now the next uh, step in here would be most likely to cut this open and 
Have I said one of those storages? No. Okay. So we're still going to have to reset this a little bit and allow the beavers to start filling it up with dynamites. But when it comes to the reach itself, we don't quite have the reach over there anymore. And that's a bit of a problem, which means we are going to have to most likely do another warehouse right about here, actually. Okay, let's grab the smallest one. And you did have quite a nice reach, didn't you? Let's try this one more time. See how far you can go. Okay, you can go right about there. That doesn't leave us with too many options. However, the little corner that we have, that should be more than enough. So let's set it to none. And when it comes to explosives, we don't really need too many in here. It's so about 10. That should be fine. And we'll let the beavers fill this section in. Okay. Cool. If you can construct it, get it done. Probably not going to be finished just today. But it seems we've got a set of stairs done and you are looking okay as well. Where are you guys swimming? Are you building this one already? Not quite. Well, evening is here. Why don't you all go home? Now, what have they been building? Okay, if you are going down... Wait a second. Well, that's not the priority, so why are you building those if you could... Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm, let's check this again. There's no big priorities here. Oh, just one more corner. Okay, almost. And this side is looking okay as well, although they don't really have... All oh, right, so you're blocking the way. What about now? No. Okay, never mind. It's all good. Seems we do have a few more dynamites as well, so let's... Just the usual. We'll get rid of this whole section in here. Okay, well, there we go. And we shall just keep going... Level down at a time should be able to put in all these dynamites in here and once that is done yeah we might pause it for uh for a little while because that's not really a huge priority let's be honest i mean we've got plenty of water here to support the colony that's living here i mean it is a very very small one but okay so you're green again as well i have forgotten to put in one of those what were you called landscaping oh floodgates yeah would like to have a floodgate here as well just in case we need to release water into this side but okay let's try and skip the night again and then uh, continue with our construction in this area here we go another day is here i've sent the beavers to the pyramid district and we uh, shall leave them to their business coming back to this wall section in here i do have a couple more houses scheduled in but they're not quite built yet i was thinking of putting platforms down but then hey levees are a bit more sturdy eh? so why don't we set the flooring or the foundation with these guys and with the next houses i think it's probably a time good time to expand this colony a little bit i believe we still have a few oh Okay, we have a few free beds, which I think is a lie, because they are right about there. Yep. Okay, so... That's not true. Maybe we'll disconnect you. Let's see what happens now. No. Okay, we still have a few free beds. And food situation with the potato seems to be pretty good. Bread, a little low... However, I think what we can do is let's stop sending in potatoes. We don't need them anymore. Everything else, yep, we're not really producing anything here other than I think a couple of longs due to the reach that we have as well, yeah. Can't cut down those trees. These are still being cut down by the beavers from the main colony. But other than that, let me grab this district again. Water situation is actually wonderful. We got five bumps running and that seems to be more than what we need. Dynamites, they haven't quite delivered anything yet, but we'll give this building a priority. And as soon as they are done, we'll get rid of this section here as well. Actually, we might 
leave. Oh, uh, never mind. We'll be fine because there is a dam here. We don't have to be worried about draining this whole lake out. So that's all good. Now, coming back to the beavers. Why don't we expand this colony a little bit? Build this uh, house here. Right, so that's uh, that's all good. And I really want to start putting houses on this side as well. But it feels like the wall is getting very close to us. There's a bit more space on this side. And when it comes to the reach, let's have a look. It's all pretty red. So, yeah, what I do have to do is maybe allowing them entrances from the stairs. It's going to take a little bit of engineering and planning. But, yeah, that will probably be a better solution than going zigzag through these hills. Because then, yeah, we're going to run out of reach very quickly. Now, the day is almost done again. Oh, dear. These days are passing very quickly. Right, let's check on the progress. They've got another wooden stairs done. Okay, this one's being constructed right now. Oh dear, you're already in red. But I think it will be fine. We can do a quick little trick. Move this district center down. And then what we'll also do is give this the highest priority. Okay, now because it is an evening, let's send everyone back. And off we go. So... Yet again, we'll skip the night and then we'll be back. Okay, another day is here. We've just sent some beavers over, then to be exact. They should be able to finish this uh, wooden stairs in here. And then we shall uh, do our best to get this levee wall done as well, I believe. Oh, okay. It seems it's not the only area because it, yeah, it's the same level. We do have to get all the way there as well. Right, so that's probably going to be for off-camera. It's a very small one. Everything else in here. Dynamite, there isn't many. I think, yeah, production's gone down. Power problems? Yeah, it's always power problems, isn't it? Okay. Oh, let's pause it whilst we're moving around with the camera. Right, so we do have another house in. It does seem they managed to complete this last night and we also have a few what is it dynamites okay this means it is time let's have a look are you connected up yes you are let's send another how many do we need six okay six beavers i know it's not gonna leave us with that many but that's okay a waterfall mine right about here six of you and if you can get this done as quick as you can, please. Now, how many dams should we place here? In the most narrow sections, we've got about two or three. Two, I think. Here we do have three. And this one isn't quite built yet, but that's okay. This should get this whole area green now. This is a little bit out of range, but that's okay. All right, beavers, where are you? I think they're still... Are you still coming over or what's going on? Oh, you were quite far away. What about... Okay, there we go. What are you building? You're bringing logs. Why are you doing that if you have... Are you out of... Oh, of course. It was out of range, that's why. Still? Oh, I see. Okay. A lot of discoveries. Can we now do those dynamites, please? Okay, we can. That's great. As soon as you're done moving logs around, I think we've got a couple of beavers moving over. Okay, great. Get it done. This house is almost complete as well. We don't have quite the access to this one just yet, but that's okay. What I'll do is, after this episode... I'll play around with the design a little bit and we'll see how we can maximize, well not really maximize, but how can we make this sort of interesting housing area in here now. I don't want to make, make uh, the housing area symmetric. The gardens and everything else in front of it, yeah, half of it is symmetric and that's okay. But with the houses, I kind of want to make it a organized mess. Let's put it that way. Right, so the night is almost here. This reminds me. I am typically pretty bad with this, but it seems we remembered the beavers this time. Right. 
one of them are, is being done. Oh. Are you going to construct this one? Please do. No, you're going to run off. Well, that's okay. We'll let you go. You didn't even do this one. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's detonate it. Let's have a look. What is going to go through? We shall at least see this area turn a little bit greener. Right. And in one of the future days, we shall put in this dam right about there as well. And what do you look at that? That's actually pretty lovely. It should overflow this area as well, I believe. Yeah, there's quite a lot of water in there. And then any second from now, all this is finally turning green as well. And I don't really have big development plans for this area. What we could do is maybe plant a couple of trees if it's not going to affect the frames. I think they don't, but I'm not really sure because what I've also noticed, every time I uh, start putting some trees down, it drops the FPS quite a bit. So yeah, well, anyways, this area is looking lovely. This pool isn't quite going to fill just yet, but yeah, I think I'm happy with today's progression. That's looking all lovely and green. And while well, you look at that, this section is now done as well. So with this being said, it is going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.